Hello folks, welcome back to Urban Rider. It's welcome back to Urban Rider for something from Bellstaff as well. This is the Bellstaff Mansion shirt. Very popular for us. We really liked it the first time round. There are some changes and improvements to this new version. The first and most obvious change is this new colorway that they call Granite Grey. They also do it in forest green and black. And the less obvious change is an improvement to safety. It comes now complete with D3O Ghost Armor, one of our favorites. It is a very discreet armor and in a shirt like this where you want it to look like a regular shirt, regular fashion item, it is a welcome addition. So that's D3O Ghost Armor in your elbows and shoulders. That is level one, vented, very comfortable. It also has a pocket for a back protector if you want to buy one. Additionally, the size of that back armor will depend somewhat on the size of the jacket. Just double check before you order. That means it has a CE safety rating of level A and it's also been through UK CA safety testing as well. The rest of the details I'm sure you'll be familiar with. It comes in at £325, typically for Bell Staff, slightly more expensive than its competition in a similar field. But being Bell Staff, as we always say, there is something you can't quite put your finger on, something intangible about the quality and the finish of a Bell Staff jacket that just draws you towards it. Part of that will be the materials. That also helps it look recognizable as a Bell Staff jacket. The logos always help, but some of it is to do with the style and the materials that they have. So you have a high tenacity poly cotton canvas on this. It's really nice feeling from the outside. Also really lightweight, so very comfortable and definitely a good choice if you're riding in warmer temperatures. If you're riding in the summer, this is a great option for you. I tend to go between something that is a mesh jacket and a riding shirt when it gets to the warmer temperatures. And if I wanna be subtle and more discreet whilst I'm on the bike, it will be the shirt that I go to just because it looks less recognizable as a motorcycle piece of clothing. On the inside, you'll be familiar with that Bellstaff check liner. You have one pocket on the inside as well as lots of storage on the outside. You've got these two pockets on your chest that you will be able to see. Hopefully you can't see the pockets at your waist though because those are quite discreet as well. They sit just under your arm, so you can't really see they're there, but they give you some other options for storage, which is handy. You'll see these chunky brass snaps with the Bellstaff logo on them. And you've also got poppers at your collar there to keep the collar fastened down, which is useful from a riding shirt. If you've ridden with a shirt that doesn't have that in the past, you'll notice that it can get quite noisy as it's hitting your helmet and gets quite irritating. So it's useful that you can fasten down your collar on this occasion. There is a slight drop to the back of the shirt to cover your belt line and one level of adjustability at your wrist. And when it comes to the fit and sizing on this, typically I'll find with Bell Staff that they do size slightly on the large side. That's true with this one as well, especially being a shirt, I'm unlikely to put a jumper or anything underneath it. It's gonna be in warmer temperatures. So I wanna go for a more snug fit. I'm 38 inch chest. I generally wear a medium in the Bell Staff. It's definitely the small I would go for in this. It's a great option to look at if you want something just a little bit more casual whilst you're on the bike, lightweight and no fuss. I'll drop links in the description if you want to check these out for yourself. Drop your questions and comments down below and for more of the world's finest riding gear, stay tuned to Urban Rider. I will see you soon.